How's it going, sports design family? Mike with Sports Templates back with you to show you this awesome new gym kit template from Sports Templates. And today we're gonna turn this template into this awesome branded design. Uh, so before we jump in, please head down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And you can also find a link to the asset library that we're gonna use for this design so you can follow along. So it's got all the colors and some of the design elements that we're using here uh, to create this design. Okay, let's get started. We are going to be working with this uh, view today and this is the full assortment of all of the different things that you would see in, in sort of a gym package. So um, it's almost like having 15 templates in one. This this thing is insane. It's, it's 8K resolution, so 8,000 by 8,000 pixels. And we've got 15 different uh, groups, layer groups in here. Um, the, the wheel here, the, I guess it's an ab wheel and the yoga mat that's laid out are one. You've got a rolled yoga mat, a folded t-shirt, some folded towels, a sports bra, you've got some uh, exercise bands here, some kettlebells, a step, got some pants or tights, you've got a, a laid out flat shirt, some rolled towels here, a heavy ball, some dumbbells, a water bottle, and a big yoga ball. So tons of stuff, you can use all these items separately, you can move them around uh, the screen if you want to, rearrange the layout if you want to, uh, change the background, and, and all of that cool stuff that you'd normally be able to do with all the templates. So we're gonna get in. Um, before we really get started, let's just zoom in and look at some of the details on this thing. I think my favorite part is this yoga ball because you've got, uh, you can see there's like some blemishes on it, some scratches and things like you would see on a reel, right? You can see there's even maybe fingerprints and things on it. So. Um, just super realistic texture. You can see the light sort of reflecting off it. You can see the texture of the yoga mat. Uh, the ab wheel has treads on it. There's another yoga mat with the texture there. It's got the straps on it. You can see the texture of the shirts, the towels, the kettlebells have that sort of grippy texture and then the metallic kind of shine to them. Here's the step. You can see the plastic texture. Here's the pants, some more towels, a heavy ball, the dumbbells, the water bottle. Just the level of detail is insane when you zoom in here even further. And I'm just hitting control or command plus on the keyboard to zoom in. You can see all the details in the fabric. You can see the stitches and we can even change the color on those. You've got the tag on the shirt, um, shadows everywhere. So, so many details on this thing. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to work from the top down. So we'll start with the rolled mat and we're going to change the color on that. We're going to make it uh, this dark color and you won't be able to see it right away on the outside because uh, I've got the design turned on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure these straps are set to the right color. I'm going to set the fastener to this dark color as well. And let's get in here and do our design. So inside of the smart objects, you've got a grid to help you align everything. And this one has got some grid lines that will help you to place your design kind of where it needs to be. Um, I'm gonna add some text here and I'm gonna change my color. Let's just drag this out. And we're just gonna type, just do it. And I'm actually gonna change my font. I'm gonna make this extra bold, oblique. And that really comes close to matching um, what Nike uses for their just do it tagline. So let's go ahead and line this up. We're gonna kind of center it about there turn off those other layers and if you just hold your your mouse button down and drag over multiple layers you can change um, you can change more than one at a time turning off the visibility I'm gonna hit controller command s and I'm just gonna check my placement and that looks that looks pretty good I might want to nudge that up just a little bit so let's do that just a little 
Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna turn off the bottom design. I'm not gonna put anything down there, but if you were doing like a pattern or something like that and you wanted it to wrap around the whole thing, you could do that there. Uh, so let's go ahead and close that down. Um, I'm gonna turn this shadow on too, maybe give it a little bit more shadow. There's lots of different shadow elements in here. There's a shadow for each item and then down in the background folder, um, in the background area, there's a group shadows here. And so you've got kind of your base shadows and you've got additional shadows that we're going to get into in a little bit. Um, actually, why don't we do that real quick right now? I'm going to change the background color um, to really match with this scene and kind of make it um, a little easier on the eyes. So we're going to change that background color. If you want to, we've also got these uh, angled lines you can add in there. There's a gradient overlay. If you wanted to do a gradient, you can do that. We're just going to go with kind of that peach color. And if we go to this uh, floor color shadow and we double click the color overlay, I'm just going to choose this color and then I'm going to just kind of darken it up just a little bit. And now what you can see is we've just got some enhanced shadows there. You can see I'm turning on and off. And as we go through, I'm going to add even more shadows or decide if I want to add more shadows with these individual shadow groups for each item. So I'm going to keep that one on for the rolled mat. Let's move over to our folded t-shirt. And inside here, we're going to go to our editable parts. And I'm going to keep this one pretty simple. I'm not going to do a collar design. Um, I'm going to make the collar color this, this peach color that we've been kind of working with. And I'm going to make the label white and I'm going to put a swoosh on it and we'll just kind of line this up here. I'm going to hold the alt key and drag inward and that's going to drag, that's going to change the size um, all towards the center coming from all sides. And let's do a color overlay. Actually, let me cancel that. Let me choose this as my color then I'm going to do a color overlay and that way I can select that color. I'm going to hit control or command S and now we can see and let's just zoom in on that I'm hitting control or command plus on the keyboard then I'm holding the space bar so I can drag and now we can see we have our tag there. And let's do, um, we don't want to design here on the neckline. I'll just leave that white. Don't want to design inside the shirt, but you could if you wanted to. And I'm just going to make the color all this color. So that's the color of the shirt. I'm actually going to make this a little bit darker though. Go. Right about there. I'll save that color to my library. So set all the colors to that and then I just need to get a swoosh on it. So I'm going to turn this main design back on. I'm going to drag this in. Let's make it a little bigger. Line it up with our guidelines and then I'm going to put a color overlay on this one as well. Turn those off. Hit Control or Command S and see how we're doing. And that looks great. It's kind of right where we would want it on the shirt. I might want to change the color though to this kind of brighter color. Like that a little bit better. Just close that and it'll save when I close it. And there we go. So let's zoom back out a little bit. We can see we've got our shirt. All right, now let's move on. We'll go to the folded towels. And I'm going to turn the, oh, you know what? Let's go back to the shirt. I don't think I turned the shadow on for that one. Let's turn the extra shadow on. Again, totally optional. I just kind of like the look that it gives. Uh, so we'll go to the folded towels. I'm going to change, so you can 
You can change the color of both towels all at once using this bottom one. If we turn off the design, you can see that the color of the towels are changing. Um, or if you want to have two separate colored towels, you can use the two separate ones. So the bottom towel, I'm going to make this bright pink color and the top towel, I'm going to make this kind of a peach color that we have. And then you can put a design on the bottom and or the top. I'm just going to do the top right now. And again, let's let's get this color selected. Let's drop in this guy. We'll just put it about here. We'll do a color overlay, that same color. And I also want to do, if you remember this, you know what, let's just, let's make a copy of that. So we'll go back to our rolled mat. We'll go into the design and I'm just gonna I'm going to convert this to a shape and I'm going to drag it up into my library. Let me go a little bit higher up. Now we have it up there. And so if we want to add that here, we can. Just make it a little smaller, kind of line it up like this. Maybe a little bigger. just eyeballing it right now. So there's the design on top of the towel. So you can see the design there. I'm gonna make it a little bigger because I want it to kind of wrap into the fold. I'm gonna turn on the background color just so I can see a little better. And let's just make this bigger from the center. Like that. Controller Command S. And there we go. Now it's kind of it's kind of wrapping around the fold, right? Okay, let's move on. We're done with our folded towels. Let's get into our kettlebells. All right, so I'm gonna turn off all these design layers real quick just so we can focus on the color. I'm gonna give it this nice dark color. And again, if you wanna color them individually, you can, but I want them to match. They're like a matching set. And if we focus on the left one, we've got two smart objects. One is for the design that wraps around and one is for this flat area here on the front. Um, so let's focus on the one that wraps around. This one comes preloaded with some text if you wanted to uh, do like we're doing here and just put the indication of the weight. Uh, I'm going to arch that a little bit. Actually, why don't we just change it to extra bold oblique and just bring the font size down just a little bit. And now you can see we've got the weight on there. Um, and then on the front part, we're just going to drop in one of these guys. And these also come preloaded with some placeholder logos. And these are helpful to kind of help you size and align things. So you can kind of drag your logos to kind of match up with all that stuff. And you can always test it, right? Hit Control or Command S and then come back out and see where you're at. Um, I did want to change, now that I think about it, I want to change the color of this to match. All right. And actually, I'm going to go back to this one and just keep that open because I'm going to show you a trick. Um, so let's go to our right design. Um, let's do the front part first. Now, the reason I kept this one open is because I don't want to have to try to match the size of my swoosh exactly. So I'm just going to right click on that layer. I'm going to hit duplicate and I'm going to choose this other smart object that I opened. And now my swoosh is going to be there and it's the same size. Now I do need to align it to my grid. So I'm going to do that. But now it's here and you'll be able to see it better in just a minute when we do the wrap here. I'm going to turn that on. Just change it. 
bring the font down just a little. Controller Command S. And there we go. We have two 15 pound kettlebells. And you know, maybe you wouldn't have two that are the same weight, so you could you can change the text and change the weight, but then you've got the logos on there. So let's zoom out a little bit and move on to the step. Uh, let's make the color this bright pink. And then on the top, we'll make it a black. Turn off our grid, just drop this, and we'll make this a little bigger. Controller Command S, let's close out some of these. And then we've got a nice workout step. And you know what? Again, let me turn on, there's some extra shadows in these guys that I want to turn on. I just like that, that look. Okay, let's move on to the legging. I'll turn the shadow for that on now. We'll go into the editable parts. And there's a couple different areas we can design. There's what we're calling kind of the belt and then the actual pants themselves. Uh, let's change the color to peach and we could change the colors of the legs individually if we wanted to. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go into our main design area for the leg that we can see. And we've got this, this cool pattern up here, this background with a gradient and a pattern on it. You can get this in the library at the link. I'm going to flip this vertically like that. Controller Command S. And there we go. I might even might even just stretch it a little bit. I kind of want to have more of the peach color and less of kind of the dark, dark pink or dark red. Okay, I like that, that's pretty cool. And then for the belt, um, let's go ahead and we'll turn off the grid and let's make the background this color. And let's just drop a couple of these on here. So I'm gonna size this one down, gonna line it up. And then if I hold the Alt key and move my cursor on top of the design, you can see it kind of turns into a double arrow. That means I'm gonna duplicate. So if I hold Alt and then I hold Shift, I can drag it over, duplicate it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in this direction and Photoshop will help me get them spaced out evenly, it kind of snaps into place. Controller Command S and now I've got some nice swooshes on my belt, but we can see I don't have, didn't realize that my pants design was too low. I'll move that up just a little bit. And there we go. And for the underneath color, we can, we can play with that. Change it to any color you want to. Kind of try to maybe match this a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're done with the pants. Let's go to the heavy ball. So this is like a weighted exercise ball. We're gonna make it this bright pink color. Again, if we turn off the design smart object, we can see the color underneath. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna add a logo. And I'm just gonna place that right there, kind of in the crosshairs. Controller Command S. And that's a little bigger than I want. I kind of want it to fit inside that circle. So let's just go in here. I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm going to drag it inward just to make it smaller. Again, Controller Command S. And you can zoom in if you want to see a little better. But on things that are that small, sometimes this transform box around it is uh, kind of blocks your view. So if you hit, if you hold Control and press H, it'll hide it and then you can turn it back on. So that way you can kind of see what you're dealing with without having to click away onto something else. Okay, now let's move over to our rolled towels. Uh, we're gonna make these pretty easy. Actually, you know what, heavy ball, turn the shadow on. Rolled towels, turn the shadow on. I gotta keep remembering to do that. We're gonna make these pretty easy. We'll just do some white towels. 
We're gonna turn them all white, but you could change the color of each towel individually or the whole group all at once. And then you can put a design on the face of each one. So again, we're just gonna, we're gonna use this, kinda line it up. Control or Command S, close those, and there we go. Now let's do it on these others too. Now this one I'm totally just eyeballing rather than copying it from the other towel to get the exact same size. I will do that for this one though since they're both facing the same way. I'm going to duplicate that layer into my other layer. Turn off my grid in my background. I hit Ctrl or Command S to save and there we go. We've got some towels. Now let's get into our dumbbells. So go to the dumbbells, turn on the shadow, get in here. We're going to make our color this dark pink. And again, you can color them individually if you wanted to. I'm going to do the design on here. And again, this comes preloaded with some text. Okay, let's make our background this color just so we can kind of see a little better. Change this to this color. And let's drop in another one of these. And if we turn on this placeholder, we can kind of see how we want to align. Get our angle just a little bit. Move that up. Turn that off. Control or Command S. Control H to hide our transform box. And then let's do the same thing on the other one. So we'll turn the text on. We'll make it this color. And I'm going to duplicate my layer so it's the same size. And then I'm just going to line it up with this one and turn it a little to kind of match that angle. Turn all that off. Control or Command S. Control H to hide that. And there we go. We'll zoom in a little bit further so you can see. So I'm hitting Control or Command and the plus key, and you can see that texture on there is awesome. It's just like, looks like that rubbery texture that's wrapped around exercise weights. Okay, next up, uh, actually we'll move on to the, sort of the main item here, the flat shirt that's laying down. Turn on the shadow for that. And on this one, lots of smart objects. You can put designs on the collar, the sleeves. Again, you've got the tag, um, the front of the shirt. So we're not going to do collar designs. We'll go ahead and do a label design. We'll make it this color and we'll drop this in. And I'm going to choose this color again. Do a color overlay. I want that color and then I'm just going to shrink that down just a little bit and kind of line it up. Close that. Yes to save. So I didn't have to press Ctrl or Command S that time. I just pressed yes to save when I closed it out. Um, let's turn off these design layers real quick so we can just focus on the color. Um, we're going to go with this and on the sleeves. Collar is going to be kind of this color. The stitches will make this hot pink. You can see the color of the stitches just changed there. And then this is for the neckline and I'll just leave that white. So let's get in here and add our design. Okay, and we're going to put this on top of it. Maybe a little higher up, maybe there. Controller Command S, and there we go. Now let's do our sleeves. Clicked on the wrong one. Sleeve. And again, let's drop this in and we'll just size this up and 
kind of line it up maybe like that controller command s okay and that looks good so we'll go to our other sleeve and I'm just going to duplicate that layer controller command s and there we go we've got our design and this this by the way this was made with just a gradient background and then I had a shape pattern that had this design on it and I just changed the color and the opacity a little bit saved it in the library for you just as one piece to make it easy um, but wasn't very hard to create okay next up we have the bands so these are like those stretchy bands that you would use for exercise different different uh, weights to them right some are stronger than others or harder than others so we'll just kind of use all the colors in our palette here to make some different colored ones and then we'll add some designs to them so let's start with this one uh, why don't we drop a just do it in there but I want to make it this color so we're gonna do a color overlay Control command s and there we have it let's go down to the next one and we'll just pop one of these in there shrink that down a little and we'll do that darker color and there may be times where if you're watching this I may speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do all these little things over and over again actually let's do this just copy this one so it's the same size let's give it a kind of a white and then one more I'll copy this over so there we have it we have our logos now on all of our bands and if you zoom in on those you can see how they're folded, kind of the shadows on the inside, looks really cool. I think next up is the sports bra, yeah. So let's turn on the extra shadow there. And this is divided up into several parts. Turn off the design layers real quick, just so we can see. So the overall color, we can set it. And actually let's, set it to this color this part let's make this color no you know what I'm gonna do this this color too and then this part darker that's perfect and then here let's just go in here and drop one of these and so we've got some more guidelines here to kind of help you position this so that it ends up on the uh, upper left chest. So let's see where that came out. Perfect. It's right where we wanted it. And then we have another smart object to put a design on this band. And so on here, we'll just say just use this again and we'll put one there and then let's copy one and put it kind of over here and copy one more and put it over there and Photoshop kind of snaps it into place and there you have it so let's zoom out a little bit and kind of see how we're doing we've only got a couple things left 
to finish this video off, get into our yoga ball. Let's make the color peach. See that there? And on the design, we're going to put this guy. Let's give it a color real quick. Let's give it this uh, darker color. Do a color overlay. And then let's just line it up. So I'm going to drag it out here. And again, Photoshop's going to kind of help me size it to the same size as the other one. Then I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm kind of lining up that top line along here. And really close to where I want to be. I'm just going to do that just a little bit, maybe there. And then I'm going to nudge it around with my arrow keys so that my center line is lined up pretty close on my grid. And I'm just going to turn all that off, Controller Command S, and just check. And that's that's big, right? That's a lot bigger than, now, and that's fine, you can do it big if you want, but I want it to be smaller. I'm going to, I'm going to hold the Alt key and just shrink it down into the center, hit Controller Command S again, Control H to hide, and there we go, I'm inside that, that circle. So that's where I want to be. Now let's move on to our water bottle. We're going to make it this color. For the design, we're going to have this on it. And we'll just put it, let's see, about there. Controller Command S, and there you go. Let's make our cap this color. Let's make our little, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change this to that color. So the little handle and the little kind of snaps that hold it on. And then for the cap design, let's make our background color this and let's drop one of these in here. Size it down just a little bit. And there we go. So if we zoom in on that, you can see all the details, the nice shine reflection on it. And now we're into our last, our last group. It's the mat and the wheel together. Let's start with the mat. And I'm gonna make the color this bright pink and I'm gonna put another one of these in for my design. And I'm gonna make this kind of big. Okay, kind of big. Oops, turn those off, Control Command S. Okay, so now I've got that on my mat, uh, but my wheel is kind of in the way, right? So why don't we move it? Um, if you select the wheel group, and then when your when your transform box is around it, it's also selecting the shadow because there's a shadow inside here. Let's just click and then move everything. And we'll just move it, I don't know, we'll move it up here. So it's not covering up our word quite as much. And we can even size our text down just a little bit. Right, some of it's already covered by the ball here, but let's get as much as we can showing, right? So we'll do that. And then let's change the color of our wheel. We can change the handle color, um, but I think I'm gonna just, leave that black and then the disc inside we can change that color so let's choose that there we go we are totally done so pretty quick to go through that entire template 15 different really it's like 15 different templates in one with all the different pieces that we have here fully customizable and the other thing we can do with this is dynamic lighting. So let's take a look at that. Let's look at the yoga ball. Um, there's a dynamic. If you go into each item and go into the effects folder, that's where all the texture comes from. So if you turn that off, you just have a circle. Within each of those is a dynamic lighting. And you can see when I turn that on, it's adding some extra lighting here. And you can totally customize that. So if you want to change 
the the way the lighting is coming in in your scene you can double click into the dynamic lighting smart object and click around into these different items here we have a channel mixer and a hue saturation you can go to the properties and you can you can literally change the light so let's just say we wanted light coming in from that side a whole bunch of light we can do that hit control or command s and now when we go back here we've got a ton of light coming in now this is just an example that may not be what you want but um, imagine an outdoor scene or something like that or if you just wanted to have light coming in from a different side you can do that with dynamic lighting included in the template in every object inside the effects folder is a dynamic lighting layer so you can change the lighting see adding some more shine there on the sports bra so totally cool fully customizable anything that you might want to do you can do here with this awesome gym branding kit from sports templates um, so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it head over to sportstemplates.net pick up this new template and until next time thanks for watching and have fun with your designs